Jens Hall is very distinct. Mm. And I'm proud of the sound. It's a Zimbabwean Zim dance hall. Um, wh what do you think are the origins of uh, Zim dance hall? Where would you pinpoint and say these are the origins? Uh, a lot of people consider you to be the pioneer for Zim dance hall. Well, I, I would say maybe I took it from a, another level and I had to take it to a higher level. But when we look at dancehall, when, when, when it started really, the Zim dancehall, I think I'll back it to around 2000 and, uh, 2000, 2001, somewhere there, the term Zim dancehall. Yeah. But before that, people were doing that. We have the likes of Yapi Bantan. They were doing what it is, what they were doing today. Uh, we have the likes of Mogoman. They did tricks in the 90s, right? But they had no name, a specific, na a specific name to give it. They would just call it dancehall, as it is called in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So with the new blood now, referring to uh, ourselves at the, beginning, at the beginning of the millennia, we, we say to ourselves, all right, actually, I got a call mm -hmm. from Jusa. We were in 2003, somewhere there. And he said, yo, this music that we are creating, I think we need to give it a name. Jusa is based in the UK, right? And I was here in Zimbabwe. So him being based in the UK, he was exposed. He had exposure there. Mm -hmm. Then he realized, oh, we can't continue moving this Jamaican path. We have to have our own, own identity from whatever it is these Jamaicans are doing. Yes, we are going to take certain things from the, the, their vibe, but let's create our own from what they have already. And I said, ah, here in Zimbabwe, it's Tomati Mangoma. <laughs> right. And, and, and they said, ah, but, but I was thinking of the term Zim Dancehall, and it was Jusa, mm -hmm. and I think there was Sluggy Youth mm -hmm. from, from Three Wise Men. So um, from, from, from that point, I don't know, I'm not aware of the discussions that they had from that end. But the next thing I saw was a website, zimdancehall.com. I think we were 2004-ish, somewhere there, mm -hmm. right? Whereby he was just uploading the, the dancer which was created here in Zimbabwe and putting it on his website, mm -hmm. right? And from there, I think in 2007, they, they hosted what uh, they called the Zim Dancehall Awards. And the, the first uh, Zimbabwean locally based to have that award was King Labash mm -hmm. with his song Konzeresa. And I got the award in 2008 with the track Rokeshe. Mm. So to, to put a mark and say, all right, this is where it started, where it was named Zim Dancehall officially. I think all eyes should just lead to the, what do we call this? The website. Mm. Yeah, because the website, I think it was around 2005, 2006. I'm not really sure about the, the years there. But just for me, for, for, for if we want to look at facts, I think those are the facts that can lead us to where the, the name Zim Dancer came from. That's the only thing that is tangible. Everything else is he say and she say and, and <laughs> <laughs> so yeah for me I'll, I'll put it there. Even though we had other artists who have been doing the same thing that we were doing prior to to our um, to our um, vibe that we we're dealing it at that time, right? So in terms of uh, giving it a name, I think that era that during story. that yeah. yeah. Thank you.